so how does this work? I want to say uh, it's based on the premise of connection. We need to, people need to be connected with each other. And so where do you meet people? Well, and if we go to, in the Bible to Acts 17, we find out that Paul, uh, in the New Testament, Paul was witnessing, he was sharing, he was speaking with people, he was having spiritual dialogues and discussions with people. It says he was in the marketplace, the Agora, he was in the marketplace daily uh, and in the synagogues. And so, but what is the marketplace today? Well, the marketplace today is your big box store. That's where everybody goes. You know, most people today, what they do, uh, they, they get gas for their car, they uh, and they get food at the big box store. And then if they're in the big, you know, hey, we're, we're all damaged, do I have to take 18 medications? If they're in that, they might go to the pharmacy. The premise is that when people are out and about, they're more open to talking about spiritual matters. So I want to talk to you about conversations. The idea is we initiate conversations with people. And so let me kind of get you into the idea here of cold start and warm start conversations. Cold start and warm start conversations. So what in the world is a cold start conversation? Well, there are cold start conversations in the Bible. Uh, and we look to Jesus, Jesus as, for example, our uh, many times we look and look for guidance from him. One time in John chapter 4, chapter 5, Jesus is at the, chapter 4, he's at the, with the woman at the well. Uh, the disciples have gone to get food. Jesus is sitting alone on the well. The well was kind of a pretty cool place to be, an important place, because everybody went to the well to get their water. So Jesus is where, he's where the people are going to be. Like today, we need to be sometimes in the store, in the agora, in the marketplace, like Paul was. Jesus is in the agora, so to speak, as he's there by the well. He's, he's, he's very strategically positioned. And Jesus is there waiting. Well, here comes this woman to draw water at the well. And Jesus initiates the conversation. Please give me water to drink, says Jesus. You can read about it in John chapter 4. And this was a shock to her because he was a man talking to a woman, which usually was kind of like, no, we don't do that. He, he was a Jew and she was a Samaritan. And so, no, normally that's never done. And not only that, but she was a uh, more or less a prostitute type. You know, she was an immoral person, and Jesus was obviously super moral. So there's like all kinds of discontinuities here, and yet Jesus initiates the conversation. This is a cold start conversation. Cold start is when there's no conversation before, and you start the conversation. Now, Jesus, before he's done, and that would be a whole, a very cool study to look at, before he's done, he's got her spiritually um, tuned up, and she she receives all the truth he has. Ultimately, it's uh, it's a beautiful it's beautiful pieces. But a cold start conversation has some challenges in it because a lot of times today, people remember we're in a place where there's a lot less trust. A cold start conversation comes with certain liabilities or certain risks. You know, if you start if you knock on somebody's door and you want to talk to them about spiritual things. A lot of times you might not be received the way you'd like to be received. So cold start is, there's certainly places for it. It's certainly used over and over again. If you're on a plane, you're traveling somewhere, or you're in a city you're not normally in, and you're on a trip, and you meet somebody, you're on, sitting on a bus or, you're, or whatever, you probably never see them again. That's stranger, that stranger evangelism. You're only going to get one shot to talk to that person. So it doesn't mean you have to be a baboon about it. Uh, but you try to try to be winning, and but maybe you'll get an opportunity to speak some spiritual, encourage them into a spiritual direction, not push, but encourage them. So cold start conversations are numerous magnitudes better than no conversation at all, but that's a cold start. Then we have what I call the warm start conversation. Let me give you a couple examples where I passed on these, these uh, living tracts, the Horizon Watch tract. So I was in the store. Uh, I actually needed a, a doorknob for a door in my house. So I go there. I got there just before it closed closing in the uh, the big department, uh, you know, Home Depot type store. And I go in there, I'm looking, and of course their stuff doesn't match my stuff. The colors are different and the, the styles are different than, than when this house was built so many years ago. So I'm looking around. I could, didn't see what I needed. And I, here comes an employee around the aisle. I, I said, hey, I said, and I, you know, can I get some help? And he comes up and we started talking about, you know, the product that I wanted. I mean, it's, a, it's totally authentic. I was looking for this product. I wanted to buy from them. 
a low cost version of this product. So we're just talking about that and this is going to be a warm start conversation because guess what? We talked about that, we found out we didn't have really anything that was exactly what I wanted, but uh, what do we have is um, there's certain things that happen in a warm start conversation because I'm at the end I've talked, I gave him one of the tracks. So, uh, well, let me just finish that. So yeah, so we're talking about that and, and when we were done, it was time to close, you know, the, the warning is on, now please, you know, take your products to the front of the store, blah, blah. So anyway, uh, I thanked him for helping me and I said, hey, I said, I like to get, uh, there's a lot of, there's a lot of things happening in our world and uh, I like to give this to, I usually like to give one of these to somebody if I, if, if they're willing to take it. And I just described, you know, one sentence, you know, this is, these will take you on the QR code, you just click on it, it takes you to a short item that will talk about something in the news that, that we need to, we need to be awake about. Can I give this to you? I usually don't ask, usually I just give it to him. But that time I said, hey, can he get any, and he took it. Why did he take it? Well, first of all, we started with this warm start conversation. So what has he determined through the five or six minutes or whatever that we had talked when we were trying to find that product? It might not have even been five minutes. Well, he's, he's determined I'm not shouting at him. I'm not a crazy person. Uh, I'm not, uh, I'm not calling, you know, well, if you don't have this product. Let me see the manager. You know, I'm not swearing. I'm not uh, foaming at the mouth, you know, because, because they don't have my product. He's figured out I'm, I'm a, whoever I am. I'm a very average person. I'm a very, I'm a, I'm a friendly person. I'm not dangerous. Uh, we have rational conversation or things that kind of fit, you know, right into it. Nothing weird. It's nothing to set it off. You know, I'm, I'm a customer, a potential customer, I guess, and he's the employee. So everything was sort of natural. And after we had sort of as already kind of established that, you know, he's a sane, rational and kind, generous person. I'm a sane, rational, kind and generous person most of the time. We kind of had established that. So we kind of had a warm start. So we had a conversation. And at the end, he, he didn't hesitate at all. He was glad to take it. Now, he may have taken it back and thrown it away, or he may have taken it home and clicked it open and, and looked at the stuff. But we put it out there and certainly prayed about it. So that's a warm start conversation. Now, let me give you one more, a warm start conversation. I'm on the way home. My kid's been texting me, Dad, Dad, please. I know what the text is about because every time my kid texts me, Dad, can you stop and get Taco Bell? So I'm on the way home from the, that store and I drive into the Taco Bell. We make the order. I pull up to the window. There's the lady there. She she takes my order and would pay for that. Then she's just standing there. I've got the I've got newsletter there and I want to pass it to her, but I'm thinking, do I do it now or do I wait till she's done the order? It's kind of a flow that people have in, in interactions and in conversations. And I've kind of figured out that um, you don't want to interrupt the flow. And so I thought, you know, I'll just wait till she delivers the order to me and then I'll drop it on her. So we're talking, there. she's just staying there doing nothing, I'm sitting in the car, and I started this conversation with her. So I initiated the conversation. Uh, but it was kind of natural because it was in the flow of the customer and the employee. So we're kind of in that space again. Hey, I said, I came up to the door here a couple of weeks ago uh, to take over, and it was locked, and it was like early in the evening. I said, what time do you guys lock up? Oh, she says, well, uh, my manager just sometimes just locks it at kind of at random. And then she kind of all kind of rolled her eyes like she didn't agree with the manager. I said, yeah, that's that's kind of arbitrary. She just, yeah. So should we just talk just, just briefly, just friendly? But you know what happened there? The same thing that happened at the other one. What? Um, this guy's rational. He's sane. He's okay. You know, he's not weird. He's not going to come leaping out of the car after me because I didn't give him the right hot sauce. So uh, we had a friendly sort of thing there. And so she hands me the order. And I said, hey, you know, and I just, I brought that to her. I said, hey, I want to give you one of this, one of these. I said, uh, you take your QR code. There's a lot of things happening that you're not going to hear about any which place. I like to give this to people. I said, you know how, do you know how to do the QR code thing with your phone? This is a girl. She's like 18 years old, maybe. So, she, oh, she says, oh, yeah, yeah, I know how to do that. So I, I said, here, I handed it to her and she took it and she looked at it for a minute and she, she smiled. She was good. She took it. That was a warm start conversation because we kind of started with natural flow. The relationship was natural, customer. Um, and then it turned into just something. She was done. She finished her task. She's exactly between. She will, She's ready for the next car. And so, boom, I hand it off to her. And away, and nice day, and away we go. So that's how you hand out these Horizon Watch uh, newsletter. Get into a warm start conversation. You're just a regular person, and you have something to share besides you'll give them.
I like to give this to people that are kind to me. Hand it off. And that's giving them a little compliment. And they've been kind to you, right? So it makes sense. It's valid. And, uh, and who doesn't want to be recognized as a kind person? So anyway, these are ways. Now, here's a, a hot conversation. Anyway, there's more we can say. We, we probably need to stop here. But um, what's a hot, hot start conversation? A hot start conversation is when somebody starts a conversation with you. And I'm not just talking about the greeter at the door who's paid to do that. Fine. But I'm talking about you're, you're in, in the store or you're waiting in the tire store. You're in the waiting area and somebody starts talking to you. <laughs> well, guess what? They have initiated the conversation. They started it. Okay, so that's like giving you tons of license. So be friendly. Talk with them on the thing they're talking about. Get, get a little friendly. And then you have a warm start. But because they started it, that's a, that's a really strong signal. That's a positive person who's socially open and interested in talking. And so, um, so yeah, you, can, you always have these with you. Keep them in your, uh, I've got these little envelopes that I always keep with me. I see I got a whole pack of them here. I always keep always keep them in here. Right now they're in my car, which is better than for them to be in my office because uh, wherever I go, they're with me. But I always have this with me and people think, yeah, I probably don't think anything about it. Like he's got a coupon in there or some document. I always just kind of have that nearby. So cold start conversation, do it. Warm start conversation, use it. Use it for the God, glory of God. Hot start conversation, so much the better. And these are ways we, we want to get into conversations. The conversation needs to be initiated either by you or by the other person. doesn't really matter who initiates it. But what matters is that we're talking face to face with other human people. <laughs> you don't have to do it all by text. You don't have to do that. You can talk actually face to face. You don't even have to avert your face. You don't have to hide your face. You don't have to mask your face. You just kind of like normalcy. So, so watch for opportunities where you can share your faith. Even if you're just dropping a tract or giving something quick, quick and handy. Uh, but And try out these Horizon Watch newsletters. We're at horizonwatch.net. The website's still like in chaos, but in a couple days we might be better off. Uh, but the newsletter's all hanging there. You can download it, print it off on your printer, print off 10 of them and uh, fold them up just the way, you know, the Z fold, so that they overlap and it says Horizon on the front and take them with you, get them ready, hand them out to people, get people talking uh, about spiritual matters. We're certainly in a time when we could use more of that. Hey, here's the QR code to subscribe.